We actually almost lost her. I'm so happy to announce that I have finally made it out of Toronto and I'm in a much sunnier, happier destination. So since I'm back in one of my favorite places in general, but more specifically one of my favorite places to thrift, I knew I would be purchasing quite a bit of stuff. So in order to kind of get a grip on my uncontrollable packing anxiety that I literally have nightmares about and to avoid the ridiculous overcharges of going overweight on your suitcase, I decided to throw it back and bring an empty suitcase with me and thrift everything for my entire trip here. So yesterday was a chill day, but we were off to thrift store number one and it is a good one. I've made a full video about this place in the past, so let's go. Actually a monumental moment. We've never secured a cart here before, so we are we're gonna be selfish here a little. Oh my god, I don't even know where to start, you guys. This place is known for plethora of everything, but we mostly love to see the plethora of shoes. So I kind of have a list, I'll pop that up on the screen of what I am looking for. Things that over the last 24 hours I've been like, oh shit, I could I could use some of that. So here we go. Oh, everywhere I go, you guys. These look good. Jimmy? Two? But they're 60 bucks. What? So definitely a camo skirt is on my list. But I also kind of like this t-shirt. $1.99. Not 60 bucks, so I'll keep it in here for now. Just decided before we get too carried away. This is going to be my fancy side. That's going to be my casual side. And hopefully that helps. Someone needs to tell Florida men that you can go out without a button-up shirt on. It is okay. This whole entire row. I mean, it kind of benefits me because some of them are cute, but it's just, this is the most I've ever seen in one place. So we've been here for probably like 20 minutes now and I have no idea where my friends are, but this is a common theme here because it's so big. Wow. Nice. Wow. This was what I struggled with most last time, so... Let's hope it's easier. I, I had one like that, I got rid of it, but thank you. Maybe she wants it. Becky's hitting the jackpot today. I have picked up some more things. She got me this, which is very cute. Some fun things there I will share, maybe, maybe not. Oh, I did need a sports bra. Made it to the living room lounge to sort. why do you need to buy jackets but they're actually a lot cheaper here and there's an insane variety so let me just let me just show you am i burnt the rest for the haul okay so we're back i did spend a little bit more money than i would have liked to world thrift is always up and down with prices it was around 80 us dollars i'll try and list the prices of things they're in my photographic memory still but i did watch all this stuff just so you guys know i'm staying at a friend's there is a laundry machine we're good on that front this loft top was a good deal it was only $2.99 and I really like the tailoring on it also can never go wrong with a white button down wherever you are but especially in Florida I'm just gonna say this to last but I'm gonna show you guys this shirt is beautiful and beachy and I can't wait to wear this on a night out here kind of reminds me of this old American apparel top that I used to have and cherish but it's by the brand Lux this one was $9.99 it was new with tags that's how I'm gonna justify it and it is simply a stunning stunning piece. This denim dress was under $5, so I could not go wrong. It's by Arizona Jean Company, and I just really liked how the denim here was a different color, and it's soft, guys. It's soft denim. It's not super stiff, so I feel like this is going to be a great thrifting outfit. And yeah, for some reason, I was going for sweaters. I guess I needed to, like, get out of my normal Toronto routine, so tomorrow should be better, but I know I'm going to wear these here and back at home. This one was around $6. It's by Talbot's, and I did actually want to have a blue sweater find on this trip. So as you guys can see over here on my Pinterest, 
I think I manifested this one. And then for around $7, I found this wet seal tube dress, which was also new with tags. It's got padding, so that is great because I did not pack a strapless bra. And I just love the like wavy pattern on this, super simple. Gonna need to find some black heels though. Love this sofa. So cute. Let me get it. Oh yeah, those are good. Hello. 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 Okay, so hear me out. I don't like this color. It is kind of Florida and that's kind of sick. All the closures. I might have just found my hoodie. Look at this. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Clarify. I am not thrifting in this section. You don't need to worry. If you're new here, I am a germaphobe. I do need a black shoe. Stupid me only brought blue. These look so good, but they're a 10. I really thought they were gonna be it, guys. Look at that, like, 90s dream. These are good. I hope someone gets these. And these nine and a half Stuart Weitzmans. I'm kinda tempted. So I was going through what I got yesterday, and as you guys probably saw, there were a lot of long sleeves. So I guess I'm just used to my winter ways, but I'm trying to avoid that today. I think I found these like boating, <laughs> yachting, super yacht maybe, uniform skirts. But they have the shorts underneath and they're brand new. I feel like they could be kind of cute. It can all be a whole little boating crew on Hannah's yacht. These kind of remind me of my Aritzia TNA ones, which I wear so much and that I actually got ruined because they were super long. So I think I might get these. Also, we tried, we really tried here, but the cart is just so small. If you guys can like see how small it is, I'm not crazy. Oh, that's so cute. Very good. That's where the designer usually is. I kind of love this heart. Scarf as a top. Let's go. Kind of basic, but I kind of like it. Just went through all the jeans, but we are presented with this. Oh, nice. Oh, this is where I found my. Oh. Oh my god, these are so cute. Amazing. I kind of feel like I'm getting back into my middle school area era <laughs> with layering tank tops. This one's doing the work for me, so I might crop it or leave it, but I think it's kind of cute. I also might have found some denim shorts. There's a lot going on here. Obviously, it's a freaking huge store. What brand do we have here? The tube top? Didn't bring any of those. I also really love these, but they have like the toe imprint. Like, someone's toes were stanky in there, so I don't know if I can bring myself to do that. D2, and I found something I was worried I would not find on this entire trip, but we got some denim shorts. Those were only $4 and they're Ralph Lauren, so I can't complain. They're actually very comfortable. Different than the style I would normally go for, but again, we're switching it up. This is forcing me to step outside my comfort zone and <laughs> try new things. I don't know why I still got a sweater, but something about this one screamed I could wear it here at night as a jacket if I had to. There's also so much Ralph Lauren in Florida, Tommy Hilfiger, all those brands. So while I'm here, I might as well pick it up because this was only $4 and at home it would be like 30, I'm not even kidding. Found this top that is funky and good for a night out. It's by the brand Worth. Don't know it, but there's a Worth Avenue here, so I feel like that was a sign to buy it. These jeans by Jordache were only $5, and I did want to find a pair of jeans just in case, again, at night I want to do like a tube top jean situation. I think these are gonna look really good on. So we're doing the last store first by accident. This dress was around $6. It's by the brand Grass. We love that. It's a little black dress and I actually don't have a good one at home. So I liked the ruffly pattern going down the front. This reminds me of the naked dress. If you know, you know. By the brand Marks Woman. And it's in this like nice army green. I wish I brought my unitard because that would be perfect to wear under this, but we will figure something else. So we're actually not naked. These two scarves were a bundle, $4. So I'm thinking scarf top with this, another $2. I feel like Daniel's gonna steal this one from me, but I might have to fight him for it. And then you guys, I found the other boot. And since the brand was kind of hidden on these, 
They are Stuart Reitzman. They only sold them for $9, which was a beautiful, beautiful surprise. And on my way out, I stumbled across this little cutie bag, which I'm very glad I did buy. It was only $3.99. And look at the detailing on this. I got these Chico's pants. I don't know if these are gonna fit me like capris or what, but they're just like nice cargo style pants, so I have faith in those. This top was like $2. I just figured I could crop this. It'd be really good for pairing with a bunch of different things. I also got this jacket for $3. It's an interesting material, interesting smell. And I got a good blazer. This blazer fits so well. It was $8.99, so a little bit more expensive, but I don't actually have a pinstripe blazer and I tend to buy my blazers in Florida. It's day three already. I'm um, wearing a top from yesterday. I just bought some nice platforms, but these look cute. It's a little short though. See if I had any form of self-control, I would be looking for hoodies, jeans. That's probably it, because I definitely have enough to get dressed now, but we're still gonna peruse, of course. Honestly, some very good jeans here. Women's jeans. And I think I might have found a hoodie. It's not vintage, but I like that color. It's like the Gap one, so maybe I just I just stick to it. I'm grabbing some random things. Lots of good materials. This is kind of cute. It's silk. This is kind of fun. It's bedazzled. So some of you said you hate Florida thrifting, and this is what I imagine you're dealing with. So same, I could see why that would be a problem, but they have it all in one section here, so that's nice and easy for me. I always forgot, this is the thrift store that has the most unflattering lighting in the entire world, but it's not about that, it's about the finds. This is a new destination. I don't think we've done any new thrifts today. wrapped up and I obviously had done enough shopping by day four or whatever day this was. The next few days were just kind of like for fun shopping. So I'll put that here real quick. Good morning, it's day four. Obviously it's the morning, we're out here. The vibes are good, they're quiet and frizzy today apparently. Look at all these shoes. They are, we love a stewy moment. These are kind of fire. Those are kind of cute. I thought this was the day I was going to find a camo skirt, but it is not. But I did just see this skirt, which looks pretty darn nice. It's like definitely not my normal style, but I think it's cool. Surprisingly, my first item. Show you guys the haul from this Goodwill. I have this like gripe with Goodwill because pretty much everything seems to be $5.99, including like this basic ass white tank top from Old Navy. I didn't even realize till right now, but Old Navy that I had to get because I needed a white tank top. Or this purple top, which was probably again $5.99, CPW. I wore this so, 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 so much. And the cargo pants by James Purse. Absolutely love these. They're like almost like a corduroy type of thing. They're a little big for me, but I like that because they sit low rise and are very baggy. This little fun Mustang shirt. Obviously I was feeling purple on this day, purple and like green camo vibes the tank top, the sweater, this Escada top, which again is a little large, but I'm gonna figure out a way to wear it kind of like ham style off the shoulder for the summer. Yeah, that was about it. At this point, I really did not need to do any more shopping, but we were switching up locations and actually had to move over to a hotel, so I did not have a washing machine and dryer anymore. If you guys follow me on TikTok, you've seen the insane two slash two plus a half hauls that I did over there. They were also kind of like teasers, so I think next week I'm gonna upload a full YouTube video of that because there were some really good designer things that I happened to find for like under $5. And I just wanna share those things with you guys because I think they're kind of more exciting than some of this stuff because this haul was all about like practical yet very me things that I was drawn to and I'm very happy with how it went. There's only one top that I think I'm gonna donate and that is this off the shoulder or one shoulder tank top just because the material ended up being a little too thick. It's just like not flattering on my body type but literally everything else 
I'm obsessed with. And if I didn't get to wear it on the trip, then I'm very excited to wear it for springtime, which is hopefully coming soon. I think it all went well, but in order to kind of cap it here, we're gonna do this haul. These two piles, which are quite large, I don't know if you guys can tell, next week. If you wanna spoil it for yourselves, you wanna sneak peek, go over to my TikTok, because there's some spoilers over there. But thank you guys so much for coming with me on this journey. Let me know if I should do it again, where I should go. Leave me all your suggestions down below and I'll see you in the next one.